Moving on to question number 8. And let me mention that this is one of the earlier SSC CGL exam questions. It says if 5a plus 1 by 3a equals to 5, then find the value of 9a square plus 1 by 25a square. And we have got the options here 34 by 5, 39 by 5, 42 by 5 and 52 by 5. Well, you know, trying to solve that equation to find out the value of a and then substituting it here would become a little complicated, right? Again, as you see, this will be a quadratic equation, right? 5a into 3a, 15a square plus 1 equals to 15a. So when you try to simplify that quadratic equation, you would understand that it's going to get a little complicated. So there is no point in even trying out to solve for the value of a. Instead, let's see is there any other way to find out what the value here is of 9a square plus 1 by 25a square. Take the given equation 5a plus 1 by 3a equals to 5. Now if you really look at the required expression here, we have 9a square plus 1 by 25a square. Now, now this looks like, you know, 3a the whole squared plus 1 by 5a the whole square, right? 3a square is 9a square, 5a square is 25a square. So we need something in the form of 3a plus 1 by 5a, right? If we have 3a plus 1 by 5a, we can apply 3a plus 1 by 5a whole square, a plus b whole square expression. So we'll get 3a square plus 1 by 5a square plus 2a b part. But what we have here is uh, you know quite opposite we need 3a plus 1 by 5a right 3a plus 1 by 5a but it's given as 5a plus 1 by 3 so let's try to modify it right like right? let's get that in the form of 3a plus 1 by 5 i think once we get 3a plus 1 by 5a it will become easy for us to get the required answer so we want it to be 3a here so let's divide by 5 let's divide uh, both sides by 5 what do we get 5a by 5 will be equal to a plus 1 by 1 by 3a by 5 which is nothing but 1 by 3a into 5 so 1 by 15a equals to we are dividing by 5 so 5 by 5 will become 1 are able to follow 5a by 5 is a 1 by 3a by 5 will become 1 by 15a 5 by 5 is 1 so dividing both the sides by 5 now we want 3a so multiply the whole equation with 3 so that the first term becomes 3a see what happens multiplying by 3 so this was division by 5 we have got this now we are multiplying it by 3 so what do we get a into 3 3a plus 3 by 15a right 1 into 3 is 3 3 by 15a is 1 by 5a 1 by 5a equals to 1 into 3 is 3 so basically we have multiplied the equation with 3 and divide by 5. So that's like, you know, either you take in two steps or you simply say that, you know, multiply the equation with 3 by 5, a fraction. So multiply by 3 by 5. So this becomes 5a into 3 by 5, 3a, and multiply this by 3 by 5. So 1 by 3a into 3 by 5, 3 and 3 gets cancelled, we get 1 by 5a. Alright, so 3a plus 1 by 5a equals to 3. Now that we need 3a square and 1 by 5a square, square on both the sides, right? Let's see what happens. So squaring on both the sides, whole square. So what do we get? 3a square, what do we get? 3a square is 9a square plus 1 by 5a square is 1 by 25a square plus 2ab, right? a square plus b square plus 2ab. So plus 2 into a is 3a into b is 1 by 5a equals to 3 square 9. Alright, 3 on the right hand side, square becomes 9. Again, a and a gets cancelled here. So what do we have? 9a square plus 1 by 25 a squared equals to now look at this part 9 minus 2 into 3 is 6 6 by 5 9 minus 6 by 5 now what is 9 minus 6 by 5 5 9 is 45 45 minus 6 is 39 39 by 5 so the answer here is 9 a square plus 1 by 25 a square equals to 39 by 5 which is option b right 39 by 5 is the required answer